Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Trail Fields. Today I'm meeting up with my friend Mark Bone. He's a director, DP, just an awesome guy. And if some of you remember earlier this year, I actually helped him shoot a little documentary called Riscate. And it's actually coming out today. Well, not today, but like when I post this video today. So future today. Anyways, check out the trailer. Sea la parte más frágil que pueda tener cualquier nación es no tener la capacidad y las personas preparadas para acudir en auxilio de su población. Go, man. How you doing? I'm good, man. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a little bit. Last time I saw you, I think I was walking down the aisle, getting married. That's not, not true. with you, but with my <laughs> wife. That's awkward. Like the last thing I want to do is sit in an open bus in the middle of the winter in Canada and look at buildings. But hey, to each their own. All right, guys, I'm here with Mark. We're downtown in Dundas Square. This is like our Times Square. Mini. Yeah, mini. mini version. So, Mark, how are you feeling about releasing your baby, the personal project? Oh man, I'm like so stoked. It's finally going online. Like it's weird because like I finished the film in May. Uh, but now we're releasing it and so uh, which was good. I got like married and such a bunch of stuff in between so little, little thing little, little thing little little life things um, No, but I, I'm, I'm so excited it, and it turned out really really good actually oh, like, as you saw in the trailer I'm super impressed with what mark and it was, it was uh, Michaela Bowden from rooster uh, She she helped cut the trailer and did an amazing job killer job on that trailer. It was really good. So this was actually Mark's personal project. There was nobody else behind it. I mean, you had some help with funding and yeah. obviously help people shooting, editing, that kind of stuff. But this was actually one of Mark's passion projects that he just came up. How did you even come up with this idea? So long story short, one of my best friends went down in a plane crash and he was a humanitarian in the Dominican. And uh, I rushed down there to go to the plane crash where, the, where, the, where they think the accident happened. And I met these paramedics down there, but the crazy thing about them is they're volunteer. They all have day jobs. So they're working there for free at the crash site all day. And then at night they go onto the roads and they use this old catering van and they go to all the accidents in Dominican. And Dominican is the most dangerous country to drive in in the entire world. So their work is busy and they're just amazing people. They're taxi drivers, they're shopkeepers, but then at night they're paramedics. So when I met them, I was like, Man, I gotta make a movie about these guys. Like they've been helping my best friend Cole, who tragically passed away in the accident. But I was so touched by what they did that, yeah, I wanted to be there and I wanted to make a movie about them. So yeah, I spent like was it five days or something? You were yeah, there for like yeah. a couple weeks or yeah, something. Yeah. And we literally like slept at their headquarters. There was these ghetto little bunk beds that we were sleeping in, and we would just wake up at you know crazy hours. The alarm would go off. We would grab our cameras, just hop in the ambulances with these guys. And a lot of these guys were like 18, 19 year olds, like super young, super young kids. And they're all doing this for free. So you can actually, the, the documentary's out now, right? Yeah, it's out it's today, like, which is in actually a week future, in real life. Yeah, future, when the video. Travel feels time. Travel, travel feels time, not today, but no. future today. We're traveling in the 
future with DLC. Okay. Time travel. But today, hey, if you're watching this right now, it's out today. So check the link in the description if you want to check out this documentary. Highly recommend it, of course, because I worked on it. Nah, and it's it's pretty good. It's, <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So I thought I would make this video about why you guys should be making, shooting, personal projects and also give you guys some practical tips because this guy just did it and did a really good job. One of the best personal projects that I've seen in a long time. Um, so I thought I would pick Mark's brain and kind of go back and forth on some cool tips for you guys on personal projects. So one of the best things about personal projects is that it's a really good time to learn. It's actually one of the best ways to learn and a lot of that has to do with the fact that you don't really have all those pressures of having a client and getting paid and having to produce something that other people are going to think is good. So doing a personal project is a really good time to learn. Uh, what do you think about this Mark? I find personal projects you tend to learn the most on because you take the most risks and it's only through failure and trying things that you're kind of scared of that you learn a lot and so I find on personal projects I grow so much as a filmmaker because I'm willing to take that risk on that story that maybe I don't think will work out or maybe I'm willing to spend a day trying to get a certain shot that doesn't work out. Like, I remember in Rescate, Mati, you and I, there was this one shot we wanted. We wanted to follow the van up on a mountain with like, you know, like clouds coming over the mountain. And we spent all day there filming and well, we didn't really get a shot in the end. So, but that's okay, because that's the point of it. We, I learned so much that day. And I, and I also learned that, um, you know, some drone cameras want to update Wi-Fi when you're on a mountain <laughs> and then they won't work. So that's the great thing about a personal project is we got to try that out and we learned something and the risk and reward is absolutely worth it. One of the things that happens too sometimes when you're creative is that you just get in a creative rut and like nothing's really working out, right? It's, like It's true, Matty. I actually, Riscate, my movie, came about because it was the middle of winter and sometimes as a director there isn't much work in the middle of the winter and I had this month off and I was kind of thinking, do I wait for work or do I go shoot my own film? And I'm so glad I went and shot my own film because the reward on the other side of that's been amazing. Mark didn't have any work for a bit, so he did a personal project, which is gonna get him a ton of work. And not only is it gonna get him work, but it's gonna get him the type of work that he wants to be doing because it's a passion project, so he's probably it's probably something that he really believes in and wants to do. It's actually true, Mati, because Riscati the film, my rough cut got in front of a creative director and they saw it and they liked it so much that they hired me on to shoot a campaign for Mercedes-Benz, which was pretty cool. So if you're in a creative rut, definitely shoot a personal project. And one of the best things about personal projects is that they're actually a ton of fun to shoot. Don't get me wrong, they're hard at times. We were sleeping in dirty old bunk beds and staying up late and all that kind of stuff, but it's super fun to shoot personal projects. Like, Riscate was definitely one of the most fun films I've ever got to work on. It reminded me of why I wanted to start filming in the first place because it was me with a camera and a story and every day was new and you know we wrote a script and we went after it but it was just so much fun I just I can't tell you how much fun that was filming with you getting to have my friends there it reminded me of why I got into filmmaking in the first place so as cheesy as it sounds it's kind of like going back to the basics back to the reason why you actually love what you do so yeah, shooting a personal project is really, really important. But I also wanted to give you guys some tips on, you know, what you should do in order to accomplish your short film or whatever that personal project is and to actually do it well. Yeah. And I think one of the first things you need to do is to find like-minded people. Just like me and Mark work together on this project, you need to find like-minded people that are kind of at the same level because if you're, again, I've said this before, if you're reaching out to the to the you know David Finchers in the filmmaking world, they're not gonna answer you. So try to find people at the same level and people that you just you know have common ground with, that you're gonna work well with, it really helps. You wanna find like-minded people because a passionate project requires you know some sweat and some free days of working. So you wanna have people who are gonna be willing to do that with you and who are passionate and they understand your vision and know you as a person. Because yeah. if I go up to a random person, I'm like, hey, I have this cool project that, that you should work for free on with me. Yeah. They're probably gonna probably say no. Yeah, yeah, probably tell me to leave. We've worked on a ton of different projects together before this already, and they were all 
paid. We haven't done too many personal projects in time. We both love documentaries. I've said it before. I love documentaries yeah, and absolutely. Mark loves documentaries. So we really wanted to work on some documentaries. If you're not working with people that you really like, it's, it can't just be that they ha they're really good at what they do. Yeah. You also have to have kind of the same work ethics and same kind of beliefs and like all that stuff because it's really hard sometimes to film personal projects because nobody's getting paid. We're all just doing it for kind of the love of it. There has to be a lot of trust and all these other factors. So make sure you're choosing people that you really have a relationship with already if possible. You're right, they need to be ready to go to war with you because there was a few times I was like, Mati, we're staying till 6 a.m., <laughs> no sleep, sleeping on cots, you know, and... And, and we, when I saw the places we were sleeping, I was like, um... Oh yeah, you're like, Mark, the car you're like, you know, we have nice... Yeah. Where's the hot hotel? No. no. We wanted to live like the paramedics. The authentic experience. Yeah. So yeah, huge tip, find like-minded people to work on personal projects. And we already talked a little bit about this in that last point, but you really need to be passionate about your personal project because otherwise you're not gonna get it done, right? No, there's, there's sometimes days, weeks, and in the case of Rescate, even months of work. And if you're not passionate about the subject or what you're filming, then it, feels just like another job. So yeah. it has to be something that you're going to be willing to work through the night on. You're going to be willing to forego pay and, yeah. and, and getting to do a piece that you're passionate about. I, I can't tell you, it feels like you're getting paid a million bucks, even yeah. though you're getting paid nothing. Yeah. It's, it's I think I, th I think a lot of it too is just like choosing a story that you really want to tell. In this yeah. case, we actually get to help these guys out and hopefully you actually went back and yeah. you, you helped them out. So through this documentary, Mark was able to raise some awareness just showing some rough cuts and stuff yeah. and you were actually able to go back and help those people. That was the coolest thing. I sent a rough cut to a charity here in Canada which it takes firemen and they put them in, in developing countries and help train them and so Firefighters Without Borders saw a rough cut of the film and were like, hey, we're gonna go down, we wanna help. And they brought down two full skids of equipment. We were delivering That's crazy. like like you know pliers and, and all this medical supplies and, and jackets and, and all these things that they need so bad. Yeah. And so that's a cool thing. When you get to actually do a project that's helping people. Yeah, making a difference. Making that's a difference. Crazy. It's it's the best feeling. And so yeah. it's been it's been totally cool getting to see that happen. Yeah. And one of the things is if you're not passionate about it, you're probably not gonna do a good job at it. Like you have to really be feeling it because you're not getting paid and it's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of sacrifice to get it done so one of the really big things that a lot of people don't do for personal projects is plan it and then do it well actually execute it well but there's a lot of planning that goes into it I came up with a full script of the way I dreamed that the film should happen yeah. if you have a structure if you essentially have a skeleton that yeah. you create then you're gonna have a direction and it's gonna every day you wake up you're like okay what do we need to film and actually the simple way I did Riscate is I wrote down 25 different moments that yeah. I thought would help progress a story. I want to show the paramedics running into an ambulance. I want to show the paramedics getting out of an ambulance. I want to show them at an accident. I want to show them at their home life. And it was just every day it was like, okay, which three scenes are we going to shoot today? Yeah. And since we were doing a documentary, crazy stuff happened around us. Yeah. So we were ready because we were trying to film these scenes. So we captured these magic moments that we could have never come up with. Yeah, never. But we were still moving forward every day so that it wasn't just... Because I've, I've gone on and I've done projects where I've just showed up in a country, filmed whatever's around me and go home and try to edit it. Yeah. And it's the worst experience. Yeah, we didn't just fly to Dominican and just, you know, go around and shoot random stuff. Mark had actually done a ton of planning beforehand. So when I landed, we were ready to go and we were really efficient. So yeah, when you're doing personal projects, it takes a lot of time and effort and you don't wanna waste it by doing a crappy job. So yeah. make sure you're planning it out and actually executing it really well because that's when it really leads to all these Mercedes projects and all these other projects because you made something that you're really passionate about, the stuff that you really wanna be doing and you did it really well and other people see that. It's Absolutely. a magnetic thing like you're saying. People see it and they wanna you know, have you do other projects exactly. for them. All right, let's grab some lunch. Mark, what are we gonna eat? I'll probably think about eating a salad, and then when we get down there, I'm gonna see like pad thai or something, and then eat that. You know, but, and then from there, transition to McDonald's. For probably then about McDonald's getting the. Uh... Hmm. I had to. All right, lunch has been devoured. So yeah, guys, if you haven't already done so, check out the link in the description. Watch the Riscate doc. I think you'll like it. I think it's worth the watch. It's not too long. And is there any way that people can help? 
the guys? Yeah, so if you go to rescatethefilm.com, we have a help link, and with Firefighters Without Borders, the charity we partnered with, you can donate directly to Rescate that way. Sweet, so if you guys wanna actually watch the video and help those guys out, because they do a lot of hard work, and again, they don't get paid, so it'd be awesome if we could all band together and help those guys out and make their job a little bit better, and help them do their work better, because they're running on some really ghetto stuff a lot of times, and I'm sure they could do a way better job if they actually had proper equipment and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so if you guys want to support those guys, links are down in the description. Make sure to check it out. And I hope you guys enjoyed these tips on why you guys should be making personal projects, but also how to make those or how to make them well. And thanks so much, Mark, for making a little cameo. Hey, on the I'm thing. glad to be here. I'm glad to be on this side of the camera. I'm used to be on that side with you. <laughs> Guys, enjoy the filmmaking process and go get some of those travel feels.